Hey, I wanted to take a moment to address a topic that I briefly covered on the most recent live stream. I'll leave a link in the card above if you want to catch that, that stream. And that's preparing yourself emotionally and mentally for your divorce. One of the things that you need to understand right off the bat is that a toxic narcissistic personality type is going to do everything in their power to get under your skin, to control you emotionally, to get you to respond in a way that validates and justifies or supports their narrative, their version of reality and what they're saying about you. It's a really an effective tactic because for the most part, we are nervous and stressed and tired and anxious and angry and bitter and all of those things and those ranges of emotions, especially in the beginning of this, and it, because we have every right to be. The problem is, is that when someone is playing you for a response, trying to get you to react in a certain way, if you don't know that, there is a strong possibility that you will react in exactly the way that they're trying to get you to react. Keep in mind that most of these people know you. They know how you, what your trigger points are. They know how you respond. They know probably how you think, how you react. As a result of that, it makes it really easy for somebody to push your buttons, to try to get you to respond in a way that supports their narrative. Now, this is one of those things that will probably be one of the hardest things that you've ever done in your life. One of the things that was helpful for me in my situation is in my professional career as a communications manager, uh, uh, senior manager, my past job, that's not what I'm doing now, but I've had to deal in an environment with very toxic, manipulative people. And one of the tactics that they would routinely use that I, they would try to use on me and I've seen it used on other people is you gaslight somebody and then you provoke them to respond in a way in a narrative that you've already set up in a commercial or a work environment. Typically what it is is somebody paints a story about you either being a hothead, being unresponsive, being whatever the, whatever it could be. They set you up in a situation, and they tell everybody, they have all these communications, basically they're smearing you and they're saying that you act a certain way and then they orchestrate a series of events for you to demonstrate that exact thing. Now, in my situation, whenever I started going through the separation and divorce and I started seeing this, I recognized it. I knew exactly what the ex was doing, what, they, what she was trying to do, what the game was, and I was able to, although it was incredibly difficult, it, I mean, there's a whole, there's a, a completely different scenario whenever it's your home life that's being attacked as opposed to work. Not that dealing with this at work isn't easy. It's, it's still complicated and it's still frustrating, but whenever it's your home, it's really, it's really tough. So whenever she was trying to play the game and basically focus in on my vulnerabilities, my mistakes to try to amplify that for her own narrative. I could see it. I use the same techniques that I use in my professional world where I try to figure out what they're trying to get, what the person is trying to get you to do. And you do everything in your power to demonstrate that it's the, the opposite. And this is what you have to do on this. And this is why it's so critical that you learn this information early in the process. So if you're here way early in the process, you're at an advantage. If you haven't even separated yet, you're even at a better advantage because you'll be better prepared to deal with this situation when these things happen. What you want to make darn sure is that you always appear calm, collected, mature, stable, and able to deal with the pressure. I understand that that is an incredibly difficult task. <laughs> it's like a Herculean task that you would have to, to assume. But it's really important you do that because if you don't, and they are able to get you to respond in a negative way, there's a strong possibility that they will be able to turn your children against you, family and friends, and potentially even evaluators and the court. The reality of this though, 
is if you're able to spot this and take steps to prevent it, there's a pretty good chance that they're gonna end up exposing themselves. One of the comments that happened during the live stream the other day is somebody mentioned that their, their boyfriend's ex is now calling Child Protective Services on them for made up claims. And if you look about what I was just talking about, so you have the, the narrative that the person is trying to, to, to portray that you're, it's an unsafe environment, the kids shouldn't be there, and there's bad things going on. It sucks that somebody's gonna be looking, looking at you, but one of the things you have to remember is everyone's gonna be looking at you a little bit harder when it's CPS, but, but everyone is going to be looking at you under a microscope. So you have to make sure that everything you do is great. If you're having a problem and you have issues, get help for it. If you have issues dealing with the stress and anxiety, get a therapist to help you work through it. So that if you do have a problem, you can say, I do, you know, I am under a tremendous amount of stress and this is what I'm doing to try to fix it. I'm seeing a therapist, I'm going through treatment, I'm, you know, even if you're on medication, whatever the case may be, but that way you can be, you can demonstrate that you're proactive on it. Hopefully you can do this without having to do that, but you also need to be open enough to understand if you do have an issue to address it. You don't want to try to hide it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You don't want, well, I mean, you don't necessarily want to, you know, draw extra attention to it. But the whole thing is mitigate what they're trying to say and the story they're trying to paint. And the CPS story, just, you know, if they come over and interview, you talk to them, you tell them what's going on, you show them what they want to see. If they ask you what you think's going on, you just calmly say, you know, the, the ex is not happy that I'm in a new relationship and trying to create havoc. It's unfortunate. We're doing the best we can to deal with it whatever, you know, if you're talking to the evaluator, you'd be almost be like, what, what do you need to know? You know, this is what's going on. Um, if you have some recommendations, I can do things better. Please let me know. But uh, this is a situation. Bottom line is it's a critical to try to stay as calm and relaxed and stable as you possibly can. I've talked in a lot of the older videos. I haven't really talked about it recently that what you want is a situation where what your ex is doing is is showing the contrast because what's happening is is they're trying to pay play the puppet master they're trying to control everything we start responding in a negative and, and and just to be clear i've done the exact same thing so i'm not saying i'm a jedi master on this there were things that mistakes i made on this because i didn't understand what i was dealing with but what you want is you want their little puppet master process to become exposed if you're getting all spun up and you're coming across as irrational and stressed and, and freaked out and all those things, which you have every right to be, it draws more attention to you. What you want to do is you want to be as calm as possible so that it draws the attention back on the person who is making up these accusations and doing it for malicious intent. We do have some people on the channel who have had this exact thing happen to where they've been, uh, CPS has been called on them, They've been investigated and ultimately what, is, what has happened is when they do these investigations, they look at everything. They don't just look at the one person, they look at everybody. And it backfired on, in this particular situation, it backfired on the mom who was making the false allegations. And ultimately, after a lot of, uh, a lot of work by this person and a lot of support by Alex Falcone over at The Proper Person, I'll put a card to his channel, uh, helping him with the legal side of it, he was able to ultimately get full custody and get basically the protection for his kid. But it took a lot of work on his part, a lot of uh, making the, you know, but, you know, hitting a lot of home runs in succession and keeping himself calm and stable throughout the process. If you've made mistakes, there are ways to back, uh, to not back out of it, but to recover from it, it's just harder. You're better off if you can catch this in the beginning and nip it in the bud before it gets too far out of control. The thing is, whenever you feel all this stuff happening and it feels like it's completely out of control, you don't get, don't allow yourself to get wrapped up in the moment and lose sight of the bigger picture. Keep in mind what the game is, what the person is trying to do. They're absolutely trying to provoke you to get you to make a mistake. Don't give them that victory. Allow them to burn themselves out 
so that you can ultimately persevere through this. The sooner you can figure this out and the sooner you can hit it the right way, the better off you're going to be, the better off you'll be able to make your environment a lot more stable and you'll be able to basically be in a better position to help your kids. So on that, I'm going to wrap this video up. If you have anything you'd like to add, please do that in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say on this. If you like this channel and you think it's helpful for you, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. Check out the cards for some other videos that I was, what I was referring to um, in, during this video, and I will, I'll chat with you on the next video. Take care.